every week to the peer conference, press conference for the match Australia and India. We welcome uh, the head coach and the player. Uh, for, uh, we ask him about what he's thinking about uh, tomorrow match. What do you think about tomorrow match? We are excited that the game time, kickoff time is close. We had a nice 12 days here, working really hard, preparing, working on certain things. And uh, all I can tell you, all the boys are excited about tomorrow. We are looking forward to, to the game. And hopefully this is a wonderful experience for all of us, especially for 17 out of 26 players we have here who are debutants here at such competition. And it's something they should learn from. Thank you. Captain, if you uh, see something about what you think about. Yeah, just like uh, what Kurt told, we all are ready, we are excited and uh, we have a uh, a lot of mixed players, you know, who had experience in this tournament, big stage. And uh, yeah, we all are looking forward to the best match coming ahead. Thank you. It's open for a question. Yes, please. Coach, how do you see this match as Australia as compared to the other opponents the strongest Obviously, it's going to be a very difficult match for us because we all know the strengths of Australia. We know their achievements in the past. Uh, all of their players are coming from top European clubs, top leagues, I would say, you know, playing very competitive football uh, week by week. And it's not going to be easy. We are well aware of that. But we are here to embrace the challenges, all I can tell you. Next question. Yes, please. In the back. There, yes. Thank you. Uh, Ian Axon, Reuters Television. Um, I just wondered if you could outline the, the potential you see in Indian football. Uh, I guess it's a country, sporting-wise, more associated perhaps with cricket than, than football. But what, what potential do you see for the country in the future? I mean, obviously, potential is there. But prior to getting out something of the potential you need to structure football in each corner of your country and organize competitions and developmental programs and bring many many coaches from abroad to help you in execution of these uh, these programs so it's a long process uh, what we started uh, in indian football four and a half years ago was changing somehow identity of the of the football there with implementation of more technical football uh, providing to young players uh, opportunity to grow through their games for the national team and it was not easy process but we are getting gains out of that process and just to say now we have quite young squad with uh, few senior players who are very positive leaders who are helping these youngsters to grow up and mature. We are well aware that we are still far away from those top Asian teams, but very confident, very positive with our mindset what needs to be done and uh, which steps we need to take in the next four years to reach top 10 in Asia. Yes, please. A uh, question for you, the coach. Um, this is Graham Davis from Air News Media. Hi, Graham. Hello. Uh, the Australians consider their set pieces to be a real threat to many teams, and they've proved that in the last few games. How do you plan to combat that? Don't give away set pieces, <laughs> obviously. I mean, we, we know the strengths of Australia. As I told you, they have a wonderful team. Also, the, I think uh, Graham and myself are the longest serving managers at the same position here at the tournament. So uh, his advantage to this was that even prior to taking over charge of the national team, he was working with under 23 team there. So he, uh, he took all these young players he was coaching into the senior, senior squad and they knew the process and you can see clearly that that the patterns are there that they exactly know what to do when to do it and how to execute things uh, 
they play very pragmatic football, you know, insisting on what's their strength to do that, coming to the flanks, putting many crosses into the box and attacking with wonderful strength, those crosses, having great execution there. I mean, they are making lots of problems to England with a set-piece game and, and corners and uh, offensive set-pieces, so we can expect a storms coming out of there, but we need to find a way to defend such situations and uh, stay compact first to stop distribution to the flanks whenever we can. If that's not possible, we need to do everything to stop the crosses coming in into our box. Thank you. I have a question. You after. Hi, Coach. Ashish here. So, Coach, two questions. Uh, we're already missing four players from the injuries. And, uh, you know, uh, Sahel is also injured. So, what's the status of the team in terms of injuries? Do we have any other concern going into the first game? You know that we lost a good part of our quality, losing four key players, which are starting 11 players, which are giving us physical presence at the pitch, uh, good speed and technicality in our passing game. So Sahal is one of them. He is not ready yet 100% for the game, but we are doing everything to bring him back for the rest of our uh, tournament here. And But not having Ashik, uh, Anwar Ali and Jixon Singh here is, is quite hard for us because we could be very different side with these boys on the pitch. Uh, anyway, on the other hand, this is a great opportunity for those who will start the game to, to embrace the challenge, as I said, and uh, show to, to Asia what they can do, that they can represent India in the best possible way at such high tournament. Coach, uh, what is the mental preparation that the players are taking, getting into a match against Australia in the very first game in the Asian Cup? I mean, we've been working on the mindset on positive things uh, through our meditation processes since the beginning of our work, and the mindset change was the key element in our approach uh, when we started the work with Indian football, you know to switch from a defensive mindset into a fearless football, it's not easy. You need to change many things. You need to work a lot with the players, especially because we don't have a single player playing outside India, you know. So it's not something uh, which is still getting us chance to uh, achieve greater things in Asian football, but hopefully soon India things in Indian football will change and it will give us opportunity and all these instruments which other countries are using to be as, as good as it gets in football in the world. Thank you. Your question, yes. Uh, hi, uh, Pinashal from the AFC.com. Uh, my question is for the player. How is the mood in the squad, seeing that you're all together uh, in training, and uh, how is team morale ahead of the game? Yeah, we had a couple of sessions in Doha. Hard session, easy, relaxation, everything we had, the mind is free and emotions apart. It's time to focus on the game tomorrow and uh, I think we boys are ready for that. And um, yeah, we need to be both mentally and uh, physically be ready for the game coming. Question? Yes, please. Hi, Sahal. Uh, I'm asking you in, yeah. from Kerala, yeah. uh, please say, answer in Malayalam. India is the most fan-based team in the AFC Champions League, uh, AFC Asian Cup, and most fans are waiting for uh, your and team play. What's the message to the Indian fans? Please say in Malayalam. You have to say in Malayalam? Yeah. In the world, in the world, in Support I to area and the Alumirum, Makaria, and Malayarum, Avrekataka and Stadithil, Baverda, the Varia, Avra supportum, a soundum, other Yamalgaru extra motivation. And above, definitely, we all are waiting for you guys. We'll have a good game. Thank you. Yes, please. So, coach, uh, as a coach, you have faced lots of hurdles in terms of preparing for this tournament. So finally, we are here, you know, less than 24 hours for the kickoff now. How do you feel the preparation is? And, you know, I also want to ask you, set to complete four years as a coach of Indian football team, 
how much technically we have improved since you arrived first day as a head coach of Indian football team? There is a clear answer to that question because you have all the numbers from the games prior to my arrival and now. So we advanced our game in all points there available, you know, in accuracy uh, nearly 15%. Uh, we reduced uh, long pass, long pass, number of long passes in our game. We are far more confident in the build-up. Uh, we are much better in scoring. Uh, I mean, Sunil Chetri is a clear proof of our good work because uh, the most efficient period of his career for the national team is last four years. So what else to tell you? And he is not a young player anymore. So uh, many, many elements are there and having in mind that uh, we absolutely reconstructed the team, introducing over 25 new faces into the national team, mostly young players who were part of the Under-17 World Cup in 2017, which, which is something which is giving hope for Indian football that it can grow, it can rise with a good structure and the patience, obviously, you know. But we need to be well aware that we are still in a position when we come to such tournaments like this, we need to be humbled. We should, shouldn't be making a noise and saying this and that. We need to work hard. We need to do lots of hard work prior to getting the chance playing teams like Australia, uh, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, Iran, Japan, because these are big boys of Asian football. So being humbled prior to these games is the most and crucial thing and embracing the opportunity if it arises throughout the game. So uh, if you ask me what we're going to do, we're not going to give up on our idea and our football. We're not going to sit back. Definitely, we didn't come here to uh, defend on the edge of the box. That's all I can tell you. We're going to go out there and try to enjoy football as we did in the last four years. That's been the process we've been working on. And if, it, if the defeat comes throughout that process, I have nothing against it. I know that all our boys will give everything and leave everything on the pitch. That's the most important thing for me. Yeah. Hi, Coach. Uh, here. Uh, I'm Rohit from Reuters. Uh, you've like you said, there is, there, Indian football has improved a lot in the last four years with the, with, in terms of technical quality. And uh, after the last couple of Asian Cups, the, it, it has been disappointing runs for India. But what do you think? And there is some optimism this time, though. So what is, what is your, realistically, what is your target for the Asian Cup this time? As I told you, our target is to have a good performance, to grow through next three games as a team, as a country in football, and to use experience from this tournament for our future. Coach, a brief answer on when do you expect Sahal to be completely fit for match time? Can uh, you speak louder? Yeah, I cannot... uh, uh, a brief answer on when do you expect Sahal to be match fit within the tournament? That's up to the medical staff. I never allow any player with minor injury to, to go on the pitch and represent the country, you know. And I don't have the right as a coach to push these players who are paid by their clubs to do anything stupid and silly because their heart is telling him that they would love to play the game. For me as a coach, the player needs to be 100% fit to come out and start the game. Simple as that. Yes. Coach, we already have Sunil Chetri as a legendary goal scorer, but uh, who are the other players you are looking towards to score goals in the AFC Asian Cup? I mean, you are always looking for a question which we all know the answer. Someone will be there. When the time comes for that, we need to see who is in the best form, who is the most stable playing in that position. How many center forwards we have in India at the moment? Can you tell me? None. So what do you think where I'm going to find a center forward? In Croatia. We people need to work on that seriously. We need to allow Indian boys to start playing as a center forward in lower leagues, in ISL, hopefully in, in foreign clubs someday, and then having hope that someone like Sunil Chetri will appear and represent the country. But if we don't start working seriously, seriously and on a long-term plan with these things about centre-back position, attacking mid position, and, you know, nothing good will happen. 
All other countries are good because they have most of their teams. You look South Korea, you look Japan, you look uh, uh, Australia. All their players are playing in top, top leagues in the world. They are bringing their high-intensity football, they are bringing game knowledge, they are bringing everything what's there to their team, to their national team, and that's why they are good. So, it's it's general problem we need to discuss in the country and work on it and, and enter the process which will bring success to Indian football. For me, as a national team coach, I can work with only with the players you provide through the clubs, through your system. I can only pick up the players from that system. I don't elsewhere to, to look because we still also don't have in India and I'm not sure if there is any other country which is not allowing uh, players of their origin to represent the country, which is a huge handicap because India has many, many good players uh, of Indian origin playing in top leagues in the world. So that could be a huge help if we speak about bigger achievements, you know, coming to such tournaments like here and uh, dreaming about going through the group or playing, playing better football against Australia, Uzbekistan, South Korea in these big teams. So. These are processes which need to be uh, changed and implemented in, in Indian football if we are all looking forward for a better future. Simple as that. Yes, any more questions? Yes. Uh, Sahel, since you moved to Mohan Bagan, you have been in great form in terms of scoring or assisting. But now the injury has come at the wrong time. How disappointed you are that, you know, that Sorry? How disappointed you are that you are injured for you know the initial part of the Asia Cup? Yeah, it's unfortunate we can't say, we can't do anything about the injury. It's not muscle injury or something. It's contact injury. And obviously, I'll miss the first game, but I'll be roaring to be back uh, with the team for the next two games. Hopefully, if everything goes well. Yeah, it's really disappointing to be not available for the game tomorrow. Yes, any more questions? Yes, please. Hi, Paul McNamara from South China Morning Post. A question for you, Eagle. Be a female referee tomorrow, the first female referee of an Asian Cup Finals match. What is your view on that in terms of the progress of women being involved in the men's game, especially in light of I don't know how much you know, but about all the comments Joey Barton is making back in England about the presence of women in the men's game. I, you need to clarify the question for me. It was very long and I lost many, many words. Can you speak louder, please? Yeah, of course, of course, no problem. Just your opinion on the fact that a female will take charge of the match tomorrow. She'll be the first no, woman I... to referee, and especially after everything Joey Barton has been saying about women in the men's game? I don't know what Joey Barton has been saying. I've been focused on our work here, so I was not following what's been in the media and elsewhere. Uh, sorry for that, but also not making comments uh, about referees prior to the game. We, he we have here a huge competition. Uh, this is for Asia, the World Cup. You know, VAR will be there. Uh, I think that uh, referees are improving generally in, in Asia. Lots of things need to be done still, but when we speak about the AFC Cup, we shouldn't expect any problems there. Yeah. Yes, any more questions? Thank you if you have been here. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.